Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 13th of July, 2016. I'm Arash Zapar Divazar. There's a series of video blogs that are entitled for my own enjoyment as I just <clears throat> talk about certain things that I want to hear myself say. Uh, before I continue any further, it should be very, very clear to you, if it's not already, that I really don't give a shit about your opinion. Like, straight up, I just don't. If there's any of the other videos on YouTube of people who claim that, maybe they're being honest, maybe they're not. In my case, I truly don't give a fuck what you think. Okay? So why are you making videos? I said I don't give a fuck what you think. So that statement would be irrelevant in this case, right? <coughs> a few things that are on my mind. Um, one is um, when people are talking about the current affairs, okay? For example, there was a time when it was Donald Trump. It's kind of died down. Now it's once again supposedly cops killing black people. And I say supposedly, okay, you'll see why. Uh, now it's Pokemon. Pokemon is like all over the fucking place, right? And <clears throat> Facebook is what I use to keep current with the world. And um, it, I find it fascinating that the same people, the same people who claim who claim, this is what your claim is, it's not my claim, this is your claim. The same people that claim that the government is lying, the same people that claim the news is bullshit, right? The same people that claim the media is full of lies, those same people take exactly what's being said on the news, what's being said in the media, and then they propagate it. Have you, have you noticed that? It's those people the ones who are so outspoken about everything is so bad, the governments are so bad, this, I'm not saying they're good or bad. It's, I'm, I'm just pointing out a stupidity that I have to see every fucking day, which is on one breath, people say, oh, you know, <clears throat> the government's lying to you and the media's lying to you and why would you believe anything on the news? And then the same fucking people take whatever the fuck is being said and they talk about it as if it's true. Now, I don't fucking know. So let's talk about Police officers, for just a second. What do I know about it? Personally, so far, I've dealt with police officers in my town. Some have been nice to me. Some have been dicks to me. I've also dealt with regular people in life. Some have been nice to me. Some have been dicks to me. I've been into the bank. Some have been, some tellers were nice. Some tellers were dicks. I've been everywhere. I've seen from school teachers to doctors. <clears throat> And I've dealt with store clerks, some nice, some dicks, right? That's been my experience. And I don't, in my world, I don't see them acting the way they show on these videos. Now you got to go, well, there's proof right there. I'm not belittling what's happened to certain people. What I'm saying is, if you're getting your information from the same sources that you yourself go out of your fucking way to say they're lying, then why do you accept that source? It's like if you had a friend of yours that was a complete liar, always lied, and then every once in a while they would give you alarming news and you would take that up. You say, well, I saw the video. It doesn't matter. Because now you're the one that's propagating their news. Right? They don't need to do it anymore. You don't need to watch CNN anymore. You don't need to watch... Fox News. We just got to go on Facebook and everybody will tell you every fucking thing that they want, whoever they is. Now, I'm not a political fucking guy, right? I'm not. I love living in America. That's why I'm here. Okay? Every country has good and bad and this and that and I fucking love being here, all right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. But I'm talking about the stupidity of people that annoys me, right? The same fucking people who are talking about the source being wrong of the information are pushing the fucking information. Just stop. Then we get into the idea of these. Let's go over some of these things. That was the cop things, right? <clears throat> then you get into this whole idea of Black Lives Matter, which is like such a touchy subject, right? Because if you're like, okay, first of all, my pet peeve, my pet peeve. Okay, now I may lose some friends over this, but you were never really my friend anyways, were you? Right? Better I find out now that you're really not my friend and you say something negative and I delete you because you, you've had no value in my life. What's that all about? 
<laughs> that was agreement from Shadow. <laughs> Check on him. He's beating himself up or something. <laughs> What's he doing? All right. Well, he needs to shut up then. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this. Okay, Hannah. There's not going to have a conversation with him because he's not going to understand the conversation, but it's interrupting what I'm doing. Uh, let's talk about this idea of Black Lives Matter. And the question arises, is this something that needs to be supported, not supported? I don't give a fuck, dude. Right? And I hear people say shit like, oh, all lives matter. <clears throat> of course they do. And I hear people say, well, if you say that, that degrades Black Lives Matter. Why? Why the fuck does that degrade that? Can you explain? Right? Can you fucking explain it? Do Persian lives matter? Well, because you don't see Persians getting beat up by cops and whatever. No, listen, you're a fucking idiot for, for even pushing that forward. Okay? Do all lives matter? Yes. Do black lives matter? Yes. Is injustice wrong anywhere at any time to any human being? Absolutely. So instead of talking about the races, you can very clearly just say injustice is wrong. Now you're intelligently talking. Injustice is wrong. Even if it's done to a fucking animal, it's wrong. Right? You can feel when it's unjust. When it's not just, when it's not right, when it's not righteous, it's wrong. I don't give a fuck who it goes to. And instead of separating yourselves and thinking that's where your fucking power is, you need to look at the deeper issue, which is it's injustice. Okay? Fight for injustice. Fight for justice. That's my point of view. I should say it. You've been saying it all day, right? You love saying it. You love fucking saying it. <coughs> what else do I see on my feed that I keep deleting? I've deleted a bunch of you guys, by the way. Oh, my God. You know? I deleted a bunch of you guys. Oh, okay. So that that's perfect. Let's go into this. The idea that... Well, don't... Don't... Do you think that people should agree with you? Yeah, I do. Because I think I'm right. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about that when I say something, it's because I actually have looked at it intelligently, come to a conclusion. I've looked at the information. I've come to a conclusion. <clears throat> and that conclusion is aligned with my values in life. Right? So if somebody else looks at the same information and comes up with an opposite Conclusion. That means their values are opposite to mine. And I don't like to be around people whose values are not like mine. They're not my friends at all. They're not my enemies, but I will not talk to them, hang out with them, eat with them. Why? Because I'd rather be around people who have also looked at the information I've looked at and intelligently come to that conclusion. Now, the fact of it is, many people come to my conclusion the same thing that I come to. So it's not like I'm a shortage of people. It's not like I'm running around. There's nobody fucking believing me or whatever. Like, that's not what's going on. So why the fuck would I want to waste my energy and waste my time talking to a bunch of people who, to me, are complete idiots for looking at the same information and coming with a totally different information? And you go, well, Arash, you have to have an open mind. That is your problem. An open mind does not mean an ignorant mind. Open mind means look at the information and then judge accordingly and make a decision. Now, at that moment, I don't need to keep my mind open to your bullshit anymore. Should I keep an open mind about gays should not get married? Let's talk about this. Should I keep an open mind about gays should not get Because I've made a decision. I've looked at it and I've realized that anybody should be able to get married to whoever the fuck they want as long as that person is an adult. Right? And they're consenting, of course. Should I now keep an open mind about shutting that off and gays should not get married? Of course not. Should I keep an open mind about black people being slaves again, even though I've looked at it and I think slavery is wrong? Should I now keep an open mind and debate with someone and say, well, maybe you have a point. Maybe we should go back to the times when black people were slaves in America. You see how stupid you are in your fucking logic? Do you see how you don't think? You just react to shit. You haven't looked at it. So of course I don't want to 
sit here and debate with people. I'm just expressing my views just like everybody else. Now the question comes up, why do people get heated about my views? Well, because my views, they work. If you saw a crazy person babbling, you wouldn't care, would you? <clears throat> Let's say a crazy person was babbling about you or something. No one cares. But let's say a very intelligent human being that people respected, admired, changed lives, started saying something about you. You would give a shit. And that's the difference. And that when I talk, people listen to me. And there's a reason for that. It's not because I'm like you. It's not because I'm equal to you. It's not because you and I are both humans and we have the same rights. It has nothing to do with that. It's that I have spent my life demonstrating my intelligence, demonstrating my courage, my strength, my integrity, my ethics, my honor, my loyalty. I have demonstrated this consistently through time. So when I talk, a lot of people listen. And I affect a lot of people. And there's a reason why I affect a lot of people. Because of those positive, powerful qualities. See that? And there's a reason why you don't affect people. is because you've demonstrated nothing but mediocrity throughout your entire fucking life. And you think your opinion is worth as much as mine. Well, it just fucking isn't. And at the same time, I don't opinionate about shit that I don't know about. I talk about things I know about. And even when I talk about those little subjects that were on the news, I clearly state to you what my reason is. Simple. But I'm not going to sit here and debate about it. You can make your own fucking videos, right? You don't have to come and comment on my video to get some attention. Because you're an attention whore. And you recognize that you can't get attention on your own video. You see, when I put up a video, you're guaranteed that there will be at least 1,000 to 2,000 people, which is nothing compared to millions, right? It's nothing. I'm not claiming that I have millions of people watching me, at least not right now. But at this moment, what was my YouTube channels? You add them all together, it's like 35,000 people or something subscribed. You're guaranteed there's some thousand people, thousands of people are going to watch what I say. And you, if you make a YouTube channel and put up a video, you're guaranteed maybe one or two people will watch it and probably turn it off. So you'd think you should come to my channel and make a name for yourself and debate because if you talked, you would look like a lunatic in a fucking asylum talking to a wall. And when I talk, I talk to a bunch of people. So the truth should be known. That I can see exactly your, your little play game that you do. That's why I block and delete people. Because you're not going to come and use my energy you, if you're somebody, you make yourself known. You make yourself known. You become of real value to the world. We're not equal. Do you understand that? I've been chanting this since I was 21 years old. I'm 39 right now. Okay? I don't believe in the shit you guys believe. I don't agree. I don't agree with your music. I hate 99% of the music. I think it's ghetto. I think it's foul. I think it's wrong. I don't like 99% of your rappers. I don't like 99% of your pop singers. Very few music that I like. I don't like the way you guys look. I don't like the way you act. I don't like your decisions for your life. Truly, I can't stand you. That's the fact. And I can say it because that's the beauty of living in a free country with a freedom of speech. So if you ever doubt that, then just go back to my video and recognize that I'm saying it in America and this is what I do and that's why I love this country. Because I can say that. You don't have to watch it. You get the fucking difference? So you need to grow the fuck up. Because <clears throat> you're still acting like tiny little children. Tiny little um, complaining. Some The world owes you some shit. The world owes you nothing. You understand that? Nobody owes you nothing. Now, it's 14 minutes. I didn't want to go this long, so I'm going to cut it now. These are the videos that I don't even want to call them for my own enjoyment, honestly. I called it that on the first one. I thought I would go into that route. I don't want to call it that. These are just my video blogs, okay? These are my fucking video blogs. And they're going to be put out, and I'll name this something I want, okay? That's right. And I want you to take a moment and look into the face and into the eyes of somebody who truly doesn't give a shit about your opinion. Do you see one? That's me. Notice what that feels like. That your approval means nothing to me. Why? Because I'm good at what I do. And there's always people who are going to want to learn from me because I've demonstrated 
a high level of skill at what I do. I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you approve of me. Your opinion is not valid in my world. Take a look at what this looks like and feels like. Enjoy the freedom that you feel for me right now because you sure as fuck don't have it. Be the best. Fuck the rest. IMC Nation.